Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are back for another reaction video. This one is for Rome, we're season 1 episode 7 and it's called Farsalus. Let's just go on this episode because I'm uh, not having a lot of time, I have to work in an um, hour and a half. So uh, let's just go guys. Last episode of Rome starts now. Shit, bodies. Bodies hit the floor. The bodies hit the floor. Ah! Okay, I don't know what that was, but it sounded like Rage Against the Machine. Oh shit! Of course, the boats, the fucking boats. Damn! Oh, they're alive. The fucking boats, the thunder and stuff like that. Because Polo couldn't help, it. He couldn't help his mouth shut. Damn, Caesar getting beat. Getting his ass fucking beat. Perhaps if we retreat to the coast via Thessaly, we could hold out until the rains come. You know, if we go eastward, they'll be able to cut us off here. Mm, of course. Will not do. We should just have to fight the wretches here where we stand. And beat them. Or we shall crush them. Doubtless. Enough for worms. Oh, damn lot of them. You know, for worms. The preacher's rebound. If Troquatus is given high office, then Barrow... He's laughing again. See no end of trouble. But then, what did he give Levienus? Macedonia? Bithynia. <laughs> Macedonia to Libra. Plums for your people. And porridge for the rest, eh? Macedonia and Bithynia are not yet ours to bestow. I've lost near 2,000 men. <laughs> what? Really? So they skip the fucking battle. Damn. Why should melancholy Brutus? Oh, do I seem sad? Mm. Forgive me. No, I see the defeat is a glory. We cannot endure tyrants. They skip the fucking battle. When do we strike? Strike? We've already struck. We have him down and he's not dead yet, eh? When do we strike the final blow? There will not be one. We simply keep him bottled up. A month or so more, the remains of his army will disintegrate and disappear. No cost to us. We must attack Caesar and kill him under the eyes of Mars. Else our victory is empty. He has hmm. sense. It will look better at home if we win by force. You are from Cato speaking sense here. News from Greece. Mark Antony is safe, but most of the ships in his fleet sent in aid of Gaius Julius. Caesar have been lost at sea. Hmm. Okay, so Mark Anthony. You'd rather be gang raped by slavering proles while your mother's house burns down around you. Frankly, I'm past caring. One day he's winning and you crow happily. Next day he's losing and I must go begging. <laughs> I just want this vile war to be over, one way or the other. Wow, she still cares. I'm sorry. I didn't want to be like this. Wow. So tired. Okay, this is um, unexpected. This was unexpected. <laughs> you all I've got. <laughs> Polos. Polos Fisher. <laughs> if you get bored with that, just tell me. <laughs> Paul. Wasting your time. <laughs> we'll die of thirst long before we die of hunger. True, true. What are you writing? Message to Niobe. Alright. How would it get there? Good idea. <laughs> Forgive me. You are so good to us. We do not deserve it. Wow. Send to Rome. Tell them the decisive battle begins today. Oh shit, so are we gonna see a battle? Finally? We haven't seen any battles yet. That's a nice transition. But Pulo and, uh, and, and Venus aren't seeing any fucking battle. This sucks. Wow. 
Oh, he has a purple uh, cloth on his back. And again, they fucking skip battle. I mean, I know a battle costs a lot of money, but damn, give me something, man. I'm getting a little bit of fed up of skipping battles all the time. But he won though, so. Or at least it looks like he won. <laughs> Just when he walks in, he says and that. Perhaps it's better we do not travel together. Wow. Perhaps you're right. Better. Goodbye. What? What? Of course. See how high it rises in the water? The plutonic ether inflates it. What? What of it? You've not been drinking seawater, have you? <laughs> oh shit! He's making a f oh, that is fucking smart. He's making a fleet. Wow. That is that is um both. Brilliant and scary at the same fucking time. <laughs> that is that is sickening and brilliant both at the same time. We will continue there as planned. You are not to announce my identity to those that we meet. And if they ask, Mella, Aeneas Mella. Nice. Why are we seeing this? She has some astonishing legs. Oh, shit. Farinas and Polo. Mm-hmm. There we go, there's a lot of interest there. There was a lot of interest there. That's why she was playing with herself. Nice. Who are you? What's it club? We are Rome, boy. What's left of it? Come to surrender to your chief. Wow. He's not gonna do something to them. Mm -hmm. Cicero, how happy I am to see you. <laughs> I thought you were dead. As not to let you in anywhere. What are you talking about? You boys are clever fellows, I bet. Know how to fight. Me and my boys can't take his people alone. Us and you together? No problem. Oh shit. I gave you your lives back. I can take them away again, easy. Yeah, you think so? You know who you're talking to, motherfucker. You wanna find out, bitch? And now you're dead. Woo! Shit! <laughs> oh shit! Oh damn! That made up for no wars in this episode a little bit. Rolled up my line like a carpet. That's how Pompey Magnus was defeated. That's how the Republic died. <laughs> <laughs> He's going fucking mad here. Wow, they by fucking accident stumbled upon Pompey Magnus. 
and they gonna let they're gonna let him go. So in the course of our journey here, we encountered nice Pompey Magnus with his family and a party of servants. His hands trembled. His clothes were dirty. There was water in his eyes. He's broken. Hmm. I saw no need to apprehend him. Do you not see that Pompey may be broken like a Dacian catamite and still be dangerous? If he is still living, he will be a standard around which our enemies will gather. Who but a sense of this gives you the right to make such judgment? Uh, I am aware that I have not done my duty, and I respectfully ask your pardon. Clear. Clear, sir. Dismiss. Well, that was synchronized. They have powerful gods on their side. And I will not kill any man with friends of that sort. Smart. Onward, friend. What the fuck? Wow. Close your eyes, kids and wife. Wow! Holy shit! Wow! 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 Okay, so Pompey is dead. Um, but it probably wasn't on the order of uh, of Caesar, of course. And Caesar is now going to Egypt. Wow, what will happen there? Okay, let's recap this episode a little quick because I gotta go to work. Um, Mark, and in the beginning, I was a little bit confused about how the episode started because I couldn't remember all the details from the last episode. Um, but Mark Anthony was safe. They have uh, they they uh, he his legion and his men got to uh, Caesar, but Renus and Pullo they they were um, beached on an island because of the storm in the last episode, and all the people die. I was really, really, really confused there. So I was like, oh, well, what the fuck, you know? So um, in the beginning, we saw that uh, we didn't. That's something I wanted to talk about. I've, I've, I've had a notepad on my computer and I wrote it in big caption letters. They seem to make a habit of skipping all the wars. And I know it, it costs a lot of money. And um, knowing that Rome doesn't go further than season two. Uh, is that they hadn't uh, a very big budget because they, they stopped the show. Um, but skipping all these battles, it, it's something that I, that I look for uh, in, 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 a, in a show. I like battles a lot and when they taunt us with it and build up the tension for to get a battle and we don't get it, uh, that's not something I really like. So. Um, the show in general is just is just okay, you know. I, I like Polo, I like Venus. They have drawn me into uh, in, into these characters, so I, I will be watching. But you gotta give me something at least a, a war or whatever. So to yeah. Um, but to get back, Caesar in the beginning was getting his arse beat by Pompey. We didn't see it, but we heard about it. And later on, Caesar beat Pompey. Um, leading Pompey flee to Egypt from out of Greece and then uh, Cato, Brutus and all his people are um, went off um, Bruto, Brut Brutus and the other dude they went to Julius Caesar to surrender and Julius Caesar forgave them I guess it's, it's, it's all political there uh, that's why he did it like that I'm not sure where Cato went because I haven't seen him anymore. Uh, and then we see uh, Farinus 
getting a brilliant fucking idea that was on the other end even fucking br brutal to build a fleet of, of corpses because of the water the oxygen thing in their in their body they make them float all the bodies in the float whatever um make them to float so they could build a, a, a f um how you call it uh, a fleet or f whatever just something you make with barrels and wood normally but they use bodies and they per accidentally stumble on fucking Pompeii in Greece how the fuck like Caesar said he didn't want uh, I'm skipping ahead a little bit like Caesar said to Mark Antony that, that he, he didn't want to kill Varinus and Pullo for their um, giving mercy to Pompeii because he, he said that he didn't want to um, because of them surviving and stumble upon uh, uh, Pompeii and stuff like that they have some real uh, gods on them so he didn't want to kill them because he didn't want to madden the gods <laughs> Verenus let, let, let Pompey go I thought it was mainly because of respect for him and seeing that he was broken um, so I, I, I understand uh, Vorinus' uh, point on that, but why the fuck do you need to be honest to, to Caesar? Just let him go, shut up and say you were captured or didn't see him or whatever. I didn't get it. He could he could he could have been killed before that um, to, 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 to do such a thing and then go back to Caesar. Um, Atia is still being. I still don't like her. She, she, she's getting a little bit better, and but hmm. I like her daughter though. Uh, we saw the love interest that I kindly, mildly predict, predicted er, a little earlier, that, and that's why she didn't want to go to um, to Domina, uh, or at least that's that's what I can remember. She's been called. Um, and being that ignorant to go to her and uh, with the um, behavior she's shown and uh, playing with herself in bed and stuff like that yeah <laughs> i like it though um and in the end pompey gets to egypt and gets fucking killed there and beheaded that was a very brutal scene i like it though but I'm not sure on which order the Centurion did it. So we're gonna see that probably next episode. Yeah, even though no battles, and they've been they've been taunting us with it for now like two episodes now. Um I thought it was a real good episode. I really liked it. So if you like my reaction then please give it a thumb up if you want. You can share it around if you want of course. And if you haven't yet already, please subscribe to my channel. While you're at it, please click that little bell button, you will automatically be updated when there's a new video dropped. Uh, yeah, just thank you guys for watching and I'll see you back for the next reaction video. Ciao!